Well, what we've got here, the dark blue itself is the lapis itself, and then you see the gold flakes in here through the rock itself. That's all the pyrite, and this here is the calcite, which is the common, common minerals inside the lapis, which you always find. Some people prefer the straight blue. Some people prefer the having the pyrite calcite all mixed in there. You know, we make anywhere from jewelry boxes to spheres to carvings, beads, uh, different grades from low grade to high grade. Uh, just everyone has a different desire for it. My, my personal preference is this dark blue. My father's is the dark, the even darker blue. So everyone has a different preference with it. But it's fantastic stone, very beautiful. The minerals are all polished up real nice. The pyrite falls up nice, the calcite and the lapis itself. The stone itself, the, the royal blue stone itself, and then there's only two mines in the world that have it. It's Chile and Afghanistan, but the Afghanistan material is a lot more desirable, a lot more better quality. Not just my personal preference, a lot of general customers and people that purchase, they prefer the Afghanistan material over the Chile. There's a way to tell what is old material and new material, but, but for instance with this, you have to know what you're looking at. Us, we I was born around, I was born in Afghanistan, so that's the stone of our country. I've had it around since I was a kid, so we could tell what's old and what's new. Uh, a lot of the newer material is banded too. It has lining through it, and the color of it is a lot different than the old material too. Which I have a lot of the old new material inside too. It's nice, but it's not a, it's not as desirable as this. And the colors is a lot more better with these ones, I believe.